Hey Tiano guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I want to uh, expand on the powerful cognition Swamji once shared in the satsang, which was um, Guru is not Shiva, Shiva is Guru. So with this, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. Now, um, Swamiji was sharing in the satsang, and I'll put a glimpse of that satsang at the end, it's only a few minutes. Um, Swamiji was saying that his Guru taught him that if you see Guru as Shiva, and you are in oneness with that, then you are in oneness. There is no need for you to listen to Guru. In the space of oneness, there is no need to listen. But the problem is that until you realize as an experience which never leaves you, like the full realization of that you are super consciousness, that you are Paramashiva, um, you have to keep the listening alive. Without the listening, there is no way you can reach to that space of Paramashivoham. So that is why his Guru told him, Guru is not Shiva, Shiva is Guru. If you understand that Shiva is Guru, you will realize how important it is to listen to me. And in that listening, you will be able to realize that you are Paramashiva. So that's very powerful. Um, and it's true, when you, are, when you see God, then you are in oneness with God, then you don't need to have that same listening, you can just simply express. But until you realize that consciousness is you as a full, complete experience which never leaves you, um, meaning that you never forget it, I mean, you never go, you don't fall into deep sleep or you forget who you are, like all these experiences are um, discarded from your existence. And from, from midnight to midnight, you constantly remember that you are Paramashiva in consciousness in everything that you do. Until that becomes your reality, um, you have to listen to Guru and listening to Guru, following his instructions, surrendering and dropping the fear, the SDHD, self-doubt, self-hatred, self-denial that we might have and that we might project on the Guru as Guru, doubt, Guru, hatred, Guru, denial, dropping everything and just from the space of deep surrender and prayerfulness and deep seeking and intense seeking, you know, aligning to the Guru's ins instructions intensely and following them and living them and constantly strategizing your existence according to them. And that will allow the listening to deepen, to widen, to strengthen. And at some point in that listening, you will uh, enter and realize that space of Paramashivoham. So that is why Hinduism is a guru-disciple relationship. Shiva says that he comes in the life of a sincere seeker in the form of guru. He says that in the, one of the verses of Kamikagama. And, um, and, that, and that is why. So it is not about realizing God, it's about surrendering to Guru. Only when you surrender to Guru, you will be able to experience God because Swamiji was sharing that your understanding of God is not, is deluded. It is not completely real. So entering in oneness with God as per your or my understanding of God is not entering in oneness with Paramashiva because what Paramashiva is and what we think he is is totally different. So for that disillusion to happen, you have to surrender to Guru. So that through the Guru, you will realize the Paramashivoham. When you realize the Paramashivoham, you will realize what Paramashiva is and who he is, as he is, without any forms of fantasy or delusion um, pasted on him. So, uh, so that, is, that is so important because it is true. We are connected to Shiva, we feel connected to God, but truth is, we don't know who Shiva is, who God is, God El. We don't know who Paramashiva is. We have our understanding and ideas, but are they real? They're not. Part of it is not. Part of it is fantasy and delusion. So that part has to be dropped and completed as well. And that is why Shiva is Guru. Guru is to be listened to and uh, strategize your life according to that. And that is why we are so blessed having Swamiji here, um, who is fully established in the space of Paramashivoham. Um, it is such a blessing to be able to surrender to such a Guru, which will 100% sure make us realize who Paramashiva is 
and that we are that Paramashiva. So yes, this is it. I think in the next videos I'll start to, I, 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 in the past I said I would make a series on why Swamji is an avatar and I think now it's uh, now that, I, that I'm sharing this thing, this click, uh, I think I'll start the series perhaps tomorrow. So um, yes, so remember Shiva is Guru, surrender to Guru, align to the instructions of the Guru and listen to satsang guys, listening to Swamiji's um, cognition. Yesterday I was talking about how important it is to contemplate on these higher principles. Listening to satsang to engage into contemplation on these intense spiritual truth is very important for us to make the surrender successful. So with this, I'll see you guys in the next video. Nityanam guys. I'll start with one incident happened between me and Arunagiri Yogeshwara. Once Arunagiri Yogeshwara, my guru, gave me an instruction and then he asked, will you do it? I was shocked. Please understand. I used to use all my resistance, fighting, using all the bad words, everything with other gurus like Yogananda Puri, Vibhudananda Puri, Annamalai Swamigal, even with Ramsuratmar little, but never ever resisted Arunagiri Yogeshwara. It was such pure, intense, passionate, loving, beautiful relationship. Never I resisted him or never I uttered a word or even thought, had a thought against him or against his words. So I was shocked. I felt, what did I do? Even he had a doubt and he asked to ask me, will you do it? I immediately folded my hands and said, you are God, you are Shiva, how can I not do what you say? He laughed and said, no, if I am God, you are also God. In the powerful cognition of Guru is God, that same cognition applies, you are also God. In that God, God, you don't need to listen to the God. You are one, in oneness. Only if you know, I am the Guru who is going to make you experience God, you need to listen to me. Understand? I was shocked. The way he made me understand. He said, If I am God, you are also God. That's ultimate reality. That's a powerful cognition. From that powerful cognition, you don't need to listen to me. We both are in one and the same, in oneness. If you have the powerful cognition, I am the Guru who is going to make you experience God, you need to listen to me. He said, that is the powerful cognition you need to have. With that powerful cognition, Guru is God. You may not need to listen because you are also God. The most powerful cognition is God is Guru, not Guru is God. Understand? God is Guru to make you realize you are God. Only then you need to listen to Him. Only then you will achieve enlightenment. Surely it was a completely different altogether, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. What he said is right. Not that God is Guru, Guru is God. The cognition I was having is Guru is God. 
but he shifted it to god is guru listen carefully guru tatva makes you realize real god till then you will not even have the right cognition about god i welcome you all with my love and respects let you all open all your three eyes om nityananda oh.